All right, what to expect during Leo season? So coming out of cancer season, we know we're dealing a lot with our inner needs, understanding our inner needs, being loyal to our inner needs, understanding a lot of the things that we want to cultivate, really being kind of in that, in that oneness. But as we move to the Leo energy, we can take some of that, especially for some people who've been working on a project, something you've been pouring a lot of energy to that you care a lot about. And Leo, ener remember, Leo energy now is the presenter. It is the show. It is the entertainment. Okay, so this is a very expressive type of season. When we move into Leo season on July 22nd, we also are going to have Mercury still in Leo and for a little bit. And then we're also going to have Venus in Leo. Leo season is a great time to really showcase things that you're apprehensive about, things that you know are good ideas, but sometimes you just kind of wait in the shadows for the right time. Leo energy is not about timeliness. It's not about the right time. It is about the essence of what it is that you have, what you enjoy, and it also allows for there to be a greater sense of expression. Now, the day of, the sun is in a direct opposition with that Pluto and Aquarius in retrograde, that zero degree. And so think about it as... Pluto and Aquarius, which is representing this kind of transformational need and change, which involves the collective, the group, the sun and Leo, which can involve ego, pride, right? This kind of sense of direction that Leo sometimes has. So you can see either in your own life or just in the greater society, conflict between what is best for everyone else. How do we need to change for everyone else versus an individual need to express, an individual's need to exert power, all right? We think of Leo energy. We also think of power. It is not a quiet sense of power. It is not an unnoticeable type of power, which you may see with other signs. So you do see during the season if we could talk about the creativity piece we could talk about the showcasing piece you may see a, a display in some regard of ego or even you having to contend with your own ego what it is that you are trying to express and what you're trying to you know allow to be seen versus if you think of pluto and aquarius what also are the needs of the collective and the group and the people that are around you in order for things to really change? Are we holding on to things that make us look good? Are we really thinking about what we need to do to better and improve and dramatically shift the narrative for everyone? You know, Mars also, the sun is going to make a sextile to Mars and Gemini because that day Mars and Gemini will be at the first degree. So that sextile promotes an expressive way in which language and communication can be seen or shown through Sun and Leo, which can represent um, something being released, something being shown. So for people who are thinking of releasing something or people who have been working on something and for if it has anything to do with having to communicate or express to others, this also gives a really great opportunity to use Leo energy to pr promote yourself, promote what you have, get other people interested in your ideas. But remember, with that interested in ideas piece, Leo embodies. So Leo is not the energy that's just saying something and Leo's not the energy that's just feeling something. Leo is embodying what it is it is presenting to you. So sometimes we think of Leo energy, there is this kind of showcasing and selling of self, really getting in touch and in tune with your true talents things that are really good about you, the things that you also get a sense of joy in. A lot of us are good at things that other people want us to be good at, but they might not be the thing that, we, that actually drives us. So really thinking about during Leo season, what really drives you? What gives you a sense of joy? What is something you can put some energy into? What is something that you can, um, you know, put more sense of giving yourself opportunities that live within the things that you don't always have time to tap into, but this energy just feels infectious for you to really exert.